Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for being here. Today I thought I would go through my soft glam birthday trial run makeup with you guys. I have this idea in my head of what I want my makeup to look like and I thought I would test run it before the actual night of my birthday. So that way I know it looks good. This is definitely something I do when I feel like I have a, you know, a more important date coming up or makeup I really want to last or look a certain way. And I thought I would share that with you, my tips and tricks. I've already done a version of this makeup up a couple of times so I'm kind of combining ingredients at this point to kind of tweak to this perfect night of makeup hopefully fingers crossed that's the goal so I definitely want something a little bit smoky I did like a winged liner look a little bit ago and so I want to do that but I am going to rein it in a little bit and I'm also going to use the tape method to see how I like that I've been talking about how I've been wanting to do that and so I'm going to do a little bit of that I'm going to do my eyes first as well which I normally don't do so I'm kind of just test running that and seeing if I like it I'm kind of test running my base products I'm using things I know work well and seeing how they work together because I am wanting something that's going to last well into the night and not really need too much touching up. It's not a fussy kind of makeup look. I don't want that. That's not my style. I know that. So I want something that's going to like look good long term. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let's just like get started. I'm going to grab the tape first. Oh my gosh, what year is it? I really have been wanting to do this though. <laughs> I've just been really enjoying trying new techniques or just like revisiting techniques I maybe don't do all the time. So I'm just putting the tape on the back of my hand so that it gets a little less sticky. I've seen places that have like washi tape or just different tapes that are meant to go straight on the eye so they're already soft. And if I find this is my new way, I love my makeup like this, maybe I'll, I'll go for it. But I'm a little nervous. I'm always like, am I gonna put the tape on right? Cause that's really the foundation of the look. Like if the tape is not on right, then the rest of your look is, you know, good luck. Okay. <laughs> uncomfortable is all I can say. <laughs> oh my gosh, thank God I did this because like literally it hurt to take it off my hand. I can only imagine. I don't know if it's just my dry ass hands. It's just like ripping my skin off or what, but. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. I can't get over how ridiculous this long piece of tape is. I think I'm gonna find a way to cut it. All right, I already feel like this was a great choice to test run because you don't wanna do this shit the day of whatever event you have going on or whatever you want your makeup to look like extra nice for. I'm gonna zoom you in a little bit. So I think these are even enough, hopefully anyway. I'm starting off with primer. I feel like I should do my eyebrows, that's the thing. I like having my eyebrows done because they kind of help frame my face, but I don't like getting foundation on my eyebrows either. So it's kind of a situation really. So we're just gonna see if it all comes together. I feel like on the day of, I might not do, well, you can't put tape over your foundation. We'll just see, I don't know. You're really getting a look inside my head for this video. So like I mentioned, I am wanting to do kind of something smoky. So I'm gonna take a liner first. This one's from Victoria Beckham, very creamy and has a lot of time I feel like to blend, but it does lock down. So I'm gonna be putting that in the outer corner. This is like a, a dark gray kind of color. And I'm just putting that and placing it first in the outer corner. Then I'm gonna take a brush and just start blending that out. I know this looks really intense, but it'll come together for sure. Cause we're gonna layer on top of it. And maybe it just is intense, I don't know. And then for like more of a blend, I'm using my finger, just trying to get something of a base down because as much as this is gonna be smoky, I do want it to still be wearable, not too dark, that kind of thing. There we go. We have something just nice and light. I really like that as a base. For my eyeshadow look, definitely inspiration for this whole thing. This is from Bobbi Brown, it's new. This is for Lunar New Year. I did a short on this and I posted it I don't know, the other day. So check that out if you want some other swatches, but absolutely stunning. This retails for $55, which is a lot of money for a quad, but each of these on their own would retail for $40. So I feel like it is pretty good value. Also, I used Rakuten and got like 12% cash back when I ordered this. So I am going in now with this metal rose. I'm really stoked I picked this up, honestly. The textures in here are so beautiful. Most of these are very shimmery, but metal rose is more of a satin. So I'm gonna be putting this all over my lid. This is like the main lid shade and I felt like it was gonna really work well over this black, really smoke it out. And to be honest, it's working beautifully, exactly how I hoped, so that's always good. These are the moments where it's nice to test it so you can just have confidence doing your look, it's gonna go well. And then if anything goes wrong, which you know, things naturally kinda potentially can go <laughs> wrong or you might not have a bunch of time or whatever it is, you can then have time to work on that and not feel 
super frazzled by it or anything it's looking good even though it's kind of hard without my eyebrows to really tell to be honest this to me already just looks so pretty but i do think that i'm going to add a sparkly topper and a little bit more on that outer corner i'm going in with the cashmere palette from viseart this thing's been getting a lot of love lately i'm taking the darkest matte shade in there and i'm just going over that liner oh so gently and then i'm returning to the brush i used initially to put down that first shade and i'm just going over the edges so that it's nice and blended i'm also going to take this time to go into this highlighter from mac soft and gentle i'm going to use this on the edges of my look and a little bit on the lid this i feel like just helps blur stuff i don't have any real product down on that brow bone and this is going to help me blur and then if i want i can add a highlighter a little bit later on the brow bone but even if i don't and this is enough for me it's kind of nice and blended i almost look like i'm doing a no eyebrow look like very avant-garde i think i'm gonna add the sparkle now because it is quite flaky so the shade moonstone in here this is sold as a single but it is very flaky it reminds me of the texture of the pat mcgrath shadows if you kind of want a comparison or you know something similar this is that flaky to those like special shadows from pat mcgrath this doesn't have any duochrome thing going on but it's so beautiful. There's two like that in here. Then there's kind of what feels like a hybrid of that and this, and then this is more of like a satin. I'm gonna take a little bit of glitter glue. I tapped this shadow over a look the other day and it looked nice, but I definitely got fallout like immediately. It's just such a dry kind of shimmer that it needs a little bit of stick. So I think this will look nice. You know, it's always nice to have a little bit of a, a party moment with some sparkle but I also don't know if I want to add this later because I like the sheerness that adding it dry gives whereas once you bring in a little bit of stick it adds a little bit more of an opaque look and I don't know if I want that so I'm kind of seeing again if this is something I actually want and I just tap all over you guys know I'm not dressing up a ton we're just going to a bar just getting drinks with friends and just hanging out you know so I want to look like pretty and done up without I don't know I don't want it to be too glam I still want a casual aspect so that's what it looks like right now I feel pretty good we're gonna rip these off I know we're gonna really see <laughs> this is the moment okay they look pretty good I don't always love the harsh, harsh line, so I might soften that up, but we're gonna get that, I think, with adding, you know, concealer and that kind of thing. So I'm wiping away the tiniest bit of shimmer that I happen to have down there. It's not a lot. I had a pretty good go. For primer, I'm going in tried and true, man. This is almost done. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna need to get a new one of these. The Coconut Smoothie Primer is just a really great one. I feel like it really controls my oils, but adds a nice glow. So I definitely want that. So that's just going everywhere. I feel like I'm gonna rub my wings off. I'm not used to this. Okay, let me put my hair back. That'll help too. I'm like looking at the wing, I really like how this one turned out. I think, I don't know. I guess they're both pretty similar. I'm pretty happy with the similarity of the wing. I really get nervous, if you can't tell, when you know, you go more technical with a look. So this is a really sharp angle. I feel like when the more technical you go, the more mistakes are visible, you know, where you do something blended and blown out, you can't tell your mistakes as much. Whereas if again, you have that sharp line, any wobble, any, you know, defect is immediately uh, noticeable by your eye. So anyway, they're pretty good, but <laughs> it's definitely a fear I have. I have primer on, I am going to color correct. I really felt like this step helped me uh, the other day when I did this I'm even gonna put the tiniest bit on my nose this is another kind of run through to make sure I like this so that way <laughs> when it comes to the night of I'm not sitting there being like oh gosh why did I do that why did I try something new and I'm just using my beauty blender I used my finger last time but I kind of just want to be able to more quickly do it and want to test if this is an okay method. That really does cut down so much on my redness. I wish this had a little bit more of a Serum. It's a lot of pigment, I feel like, in it, but it works. I really can't complain. For foundation, I am going with this new essence. I have really enjoyed it. 
And so this is the one I'm gonna go for, I think, on my birthday. Why I'm picking this is I love how thin it is. I like the coverage it gives. It really makes my skin look pretty flawless. Like you can't see really my pores or texture very much because it is a little bit more mattifying without showing my dry patches, which is so nice. So I think this is the one I'm gonna do. I also feel like it's going to stand up pretty well over time, like throughout the night, not look oily. That is another big factor for me, but I think it's so funny because usually for your birthday you'd want to like you know use the nice stuff but <laughs> this is the one I think I'm gonna actually go for because it's giving me what I want out of my whole collection right now but I'm gonna give it like that full wear test with the exact base products I'm gonna wear and see how it actually holds up so there aren't any weird surprises and I do want more of a perfected base you know I don't always do that I don't want to look mask like and I feel like this foundation does a good job of still showing my skin nicely without looking cakey or too much like I look like I have makeup on but it just looks good it's not one of those ones that's like oh you got makeup on it's like oh your makeup looks so good you know <laughs> you know this is why I don't like to do my eyebrows because see how I'm just like, you know, going kind of sloppy with this sponge. If my eyebrows were already done, all of the work I put into like making them look like hairs and all that would just be for nothing. <laughs> like absolutely nothing. Also nice because if I get a little dark in this inner corner, which I sometimes can do with my uh, eyeshadow, with putting the foundation on last, you can kind of get rid of some of that, which is kind of cool. Okay, so there's the foundation. Definitely some nice coverage going on. I still feel like you can see my skin though. It's not like perfect, perfect. And I feel like there's not a lot of texture showing and I haven't even powdered yet, which is so good. And I feel like really helps me with the longevity I'm looking for. For bronzer, I'm gonna be using the cream Charlotte Tilbury. This one's a little bit darker for me. And so I find this one gives me a nice kind of sculpt as well. Not only bronze, but I don't want you know, it's that soft glam. Is everyone doing that now where they kind of like go down on their cheeks? Maybe I'll try a little bit of that. Have you tried that technique yet? Do you feel like it works for your face shape? I know it's kind of like what, mimicking the buckle fat or whatever? I'm not sure if I even really love that look personally for myself, but kind of want to see. You never know until you try. We're going to try it for this look. And then I think we'll highlight here so we can really like showcase that somewhat shadow. I mean, you realistically would wanna probably do this with something that's a true contour for you, but I'm kinda lazy and I like a softer look anyway, so it is what it is. I really love that this foundation, I'm able to like blend on top of it and it really doesn't disturb it. It's so nice. Definitely getting under my chin, really going hard on that because that looks good in pictures and it's also gonna be kinda low light. That's another thing to kind of consider where you're going. If you're gonna be in the middle of the day in the bright sunlight, like this look is not gonna look as good. But if you're going out, it's kind of dark, you know, that kind of atmosphere, it's gonna look pretty good. I'm also gonna take a little bit of this on my sponge and then just apply this to my nose. My nose is always just so finicky that I wouldn't wanna risk doing something where it looks patchy on my nose. It's like the center of your face. It's People are gonna see. If there's ever a place where they're gonna see where you're stuff is patchy, it's like the front of your nose. And I just want soft, I don't need anything too much. I'm not really sculpting my nose in any way, just kind of giving it some definition. The concealer I've been loving a lot lately is the LYS one. This is the Triple Fix and it's full cover. I have it in LG1 and I'm just gonna put a little there and I am going to put a little bit here just cause we have that going on. I'm also gonna put a little bit here just to see if we can kind of, you know, bring out that's, light sculpting we did. I don't know, it's pretty full glam. Okay, I zoomed out to get a little thumbnail. I can't lie to you, I can't lie. I'm just using my same sponge, but I'm gonna use the butt of it for now to get this part blended in. It's kind of intense for me, I'll have to see throughout the day. For under the eye, I'm starting to blend this here, and I'm trying to soften it a little bit, again, because I don't think I want it so sharp. And I definitely want there to be concealer right under where that edge is. So I added the concealer. I feel like a little bit of coverage kind of picked up there on my cheek where I always have issues. So I'm gonna add a little bit there. But I really didn't want a concealer that's too heavy. I don't wanna feel insecure about my under eyes when I'm out, you know? I don't think that helped at all, but it's fine. I should have let it sit probably a little bit longer or powdered in between, sometimes that can help. I think at this point, 
I don't know if I want to powder now or just powder at the end. I think I'll do a light dusting now. I'm using the Huda Beauty one because to me, this is the powder that keeps me the driest, you know? Um, and not in a bad way. It's not like an ugly dry, but it definitely does keep my stuff in place. It does control my oils. It keeps me looking really soft. I feel like my texture is way less noticeable with this on because it is a powder. But at the end, if I feel like I need a little moisture, I can go in with a spray. It's not too bad. So I'm gonna let that sit. I'm gonna do my brows now. I did my brows yesterday with this product. This came in my boxy term from Anastasia and this is the taupe uh dip brow gel and i've actually you know been kind of interested in this in a while and i thought it looked really good it looked nice and natural so it might look a little light on camera but in real life it can look a little bit more harsh so i can go a little bit subtle and it look really fresh i really like the actual like brow hair look so i'm trying to achieve that with this and when i use gels the best way i've found to achieve that especially in that front that's the biggest part where you want it to like look like real hair but i find that going through your hairs as little as possible so you're not really getting a fuzzy look is the key so this one, luckily, doesn't really give me too much product, so I have a lot of control, which is great. And then I'll use a pencil to kind of go in and like touch up what I want. Okay, I think the brows look pretty good. I don't know, they're a little more sculpted than I normally do, but I think that looks nice for a structured look with the, you know, wings and stuff. So I think I'm gonna leave that there. We're really coming together here at the end. It's a weird to do your makeup out of order. Like it's very, um, odd when you're used to doing something a certain way. The look is just coming together in a different way than I expect. For blush, I am gonna go in with this cream from Persona. This is one of my favorites. It's a nice neutral cream blush. I'm putting it on a brush first. Then I'm gonna tap this in. I'm gonna go over my nose a little bit. I really like this as a base for so many of my more neutral looks because it has definite color. It brings some life to my face but it's nice and neutral, so I feel like I don't have to worry about it clashing with anything. It's just a good color on me. And then I also find that this works so well as a base too, where if I want something more as I add more stuff to my look, I'll just top over with whatever powder I want and kind of correct that way. Oh, I love blush. Definitely a step that really livens up the look for me, along with highlighter as well, but I just love this. For highlighter, it's kind of hard. I didn't know what to pick, but I think I'm gonna go with the new Rare Beauty in the lightest shade, Enlighten. I have so many great highlighters. It is tough, and this one is really nice. I just like to go a little more kind of sheer with it, like pointed yet sheer, and really kind of buff it in. It has a really nice shine to it. I tend to really like it once it's on, but since it's a little bit more stark, I feel like I like to more work it in and make sure I don't have like a white stripe, you know? I wanna look glossy and glazed without looking like a Tin Man and without looking too dewy. Like I don't wanna necessarily look sweaty either. And I can always add more highlighter, so I'll do that if I need. I'm gonna add this also to my inner corner right now. Add some light there. I'm gonna add a cream liner to my waterline just because I don't want my eyes to look pink and sometimes that can happen, so this is gonna help stop that for my lower lash line i'm actually going in with a different liner this one's mushroom from urban decay i also really like the rose glow pencil uh from pixie that's another like option i might use even i'm gonna use this kind of run it on the top and bottom and then i'm gonna blend it out and try to blend it into the wing we have going on and that's gonna also help kind of soften and make that edge look a little more lived in and not so harsh because I love it as a guide, you know, for the wing. I like that it looks a little sharper than if I didn't clean it up and I didn't use the tape, but I also don't necessarily personally love, like I said a million times, like two straight of lines, like, you know? I'm not trying to make my shit perfect. And I'm mostly keeping that darkness to the outer corner. I find for my eye shape, that looks really good and kind of keeps my eyes a little open instead of, you know, closed in more. And then I'm gonna take that metal rose shade and that's gonna go on top of the liner, kind of blending it in. 
I might do a different sparkle on top. I might do something with a little bit more, maybe something like Solstice from Urban Decay. Something with a little bit more duochrome. I don't know, that just seems like more fun to me. You know, I like this, it's really pretty, but I don't know, I kinda want a little more, mm, 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 you know? That. <laughs> or maybe something from Cleona. I haven't used those shadows in a while. Okay, I think it looks really good. I think the wings, really that tiny little step, added so much I feel like like it's so so minute but it's actually a really big deal I think I'm ready to do my mascara I'm gonna put on the uh, tower 28 this one is just really great it's not gonna really flake it's not going to smudge it's just a really nice one so I'm almost out of it like it's getting to the end but we're gonna make it work for this look and when I go out all right, I'm gonna add a little bit of blush, uh, powder blush on top of what I have going on. This is something I like to do um, even after I put on highlighter because I feel like it kind of melts everything together and again, gets rid of any of those like lines or harshness you might have going on. This was so hard to open, <laughs> but this is Warm Soul from MAC and I feel like this just complements that color so well. This also is me like setting that cream blush, setting any of the stuff I have going on right now just an extra little layer of powder. And this has a little bit of a sheen to it. So I feel like it's nice and soft, almost like a finishing powder moment, at least for me and my routine. Wow, I really love it. Okay, this is something that I'm definitely test running. I am thinking about putting some cluster lashes on, just like I think a cluster on each side on the outer corner. Yikes, I never do lashes. I'm usually not into this, but I do think that they make a big difference. Like they really do. So we're gonna try them today. Fingers crossed that it doesn't look bad. I'm using this, this is the only glue I have from Ardell. It's like a, I don't know, brush on lash adhesive. And then these are from Ardell as well. And they're three clusters of lashes. And these are really nice if you want a more natural look and you don't want a full like lash on. So I'm brushing this on, just a little bit of glue. I am nervous. I used to do this thing with under lashes as well. Um, that was something I enjoyed for a second but I think I'm just gonna do them regular and not do under lash. Okay, I feel like that was kind of a bust. Maybe I will attempt the under lash, I don't really know. Uh, this is definitely something that if I don't feel up to it the night of, I'm not gonna do. I mean, it can look so good, but it's just stressful. It's stressful to me, honestly. Props to anyone doing their lashes every day. Okay, yeah, I, I just can't do it. I just feel like it's so obvious, you know? If I just did one, so then I would need to do more and then it just becomes a whole thing. It's like, do I even wanna do it? I don't think so. I don't think I do. I'm having deja vu right now of this exact thing where I was putting on lashes, like it's weird. It's getting weird, okay. I'm saying no to the lashes, sorry guys. Okay, we tried it, right? Glad I'm doing it now instead of on the night of. If you're really trying to put on a full strip of lashes, you know what it's like. You put glue all over your whole lid, your whole eye look you spent so much time putting on is now fucked up. We're not gonna do that. We're not doing that, that's why we test run. Let's finish this out. This was probably the easiest part of this look to pick out, my lips. This is what's in my purse currently. This is the combo I wear when I go out like ever because it's easy, I feel like it wears off really nice and gracefully. I can touch it up pretty easy if that's something I wanna do. It just looks good in the day and the night. I feel sexy, my lips look nice and plump. So first I'm using my Wherever Walnut. You already know I love this pencil. I wanna try the caffeine one. I know everyone loves that. I haven't tried that one. Wherever Walnut's been my, my boo for a long time. Okay, pencil's too sharp, so I'm gonna like run it on the back of my hand so I get something a little bit softer. And I like to, if I'm trying to get that more pouty look, I will trace up from the corner of my mouth up to my cupid's bow. So you get a nice slope, I guess. I also like that rounded cupid's bow. So I kind of fill in the middle there. And then the lip gloss is from Patrick Ta. This is the glossy gloss or whatever. And she's expensive. 
yeah. This has some really nice shine to it. It's mostly just clear. It's like a chill lip look that looks good with minimal makeup, a lot of makeup. I just love it. So I think this is gonna be a version of the look. I'm gonna zoom out. Let me take these down. These clips, man. I'm gonna zoom you in actually first. You can see the full eye look, just nice up and close. I think something I'm gonna do is put this, run it on the inner half of my waterline just to add something a little bit more smoky, but just on that outer half, you know? So I don't look so wide awake. I think that's gonna add something really sultry. But again, for my eye shape, I wouldn't bring it all the way in because it just kind of closes my eye off a little. I might play around with that a little bit more when I do this look, but here is what the look looks like. I think it's really pretty. Like I said, I might add something a little bit more colorful to the eye look. All right, I have my Cleona shadows here. I'm gonna take this shade in the center. I wanna say it's carving. That's what it looks like. I'm gonna try that. Might not be exactly what I want, but we'll never know. Yeah, I feel like that's more of what I want. It feels more me, you know? I might use Solstice still from Urban Decay on the night of, but we'll see. Oh, so freaking pretty. I feel like that just changed it. I do have a little bit of fallout. Definitely good to do that before all your makeup if you don't want any sparkle touching. Sometimes with my makeup, it just, you know, it doesn't matter. You just rock it anyway. So there's the final look. Let me zoom you out. I think this is really pretty. I like this look. This is definitely a vibe. I might do this. I might though. You know, there's something about just that metal rose shade I still kind of long for. So maybe I'll just keep it more simple, more sultry like that. I don't know. And then maybe I amp up my highlighter, add some sparkle there. But I hope you guys enjoyed the look. I'd love to know what do you guys do when you run through your look? Do you do any test runs with your makeup? Do you find ways to like tweak your stuff as you go? I'd love to know any of your tips. I hope that you enjoyed the video and this kind of glam look, but thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.